Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another edition of Classic Candy Corner and found these in my dollar store. Uh, at one point I think they were available um, pretty much anywhere and this isn't really the brand I remember but I haven't seen the other ones around for a while. Normally it was like the Brock's candy and you could do the bulk candy you'd get it. Uh, they were all individually wrapped and you get like different ones and this is actually called fruit, fruit slices this is by um Chris coastal bay confections and it's a uh, fat free and they are the fruit slices they're all different um fruits they're different flavors i think it's like grape orange cherry um, lemon and i think there might be a lime in there i'm not sure uh for two pieces wow it's 90 calories mostly sugars um yeah 19 grams for two pieces so yeah about 10 grams a piece and basically it's just like a gumdrop with a little bit of sugar coating on it and yeah i'm trying to figure out um but like i said i remember these were like from brock's candy they were the in the bin and you used to be able to you know take a scoop and they pick by the pound it was like half pound quarter pound um then they they had them all in. They not only with this they had these little fruit slices. They had the um, peppermint ones. They had the little uh, tri-colored uh, coconut ones. They had the oh god, there was a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, coconut. They had the chocolate cream. They also had the um, cinnamon ones. The root beer barrels. Um, all kinds of different ones, and they were all in the individual bins, and I guess you could, you know, mix and match them. Um, I don't know that they're doing that anymore. <laughs> I haven't seen any bulk, bulk Brock's candy anymore, and then I know Marie used to weigh them. Sometimes you can get them at, like, the Pack and Save or Food for Less or something, one of those big stores. They have, like, a whole bulk section, and I know you can get them by, like, the pound, and then it's, like... Uh, yeah, they got like jelly beans and um, chocolate coated cherries and um, uh, the peanuts, chocolate coated peanuts, pretzels, um, snack mix. They've got all kinds of different things that you can get in bulk. And I think you probably could get some of these. I think they're all individually wrapped in there. And here we go. Here's a typical, this is like orange slice. They actually had one that was orange slices, all orange. They had the individual ones and, and yeah, see like here they got the lime, the lime, the orange, and they got grape, lemon, cherry, all different fruit flavors. And I'll just go ahead and try one. And there are supposed to be like fruit slices. They also had the other ones. I remember they were like watermelon and orange and then they were they look like an actual orange and a watermelon they had like the rind on them they were like kind of flat but these are you know true true fruit, fruit slices huh. gumdrop with a little bit of sugar on the outside um nice and chewy if i remember right the purple ones weren't great they were black licorice. If I can confirm that. Now, now this might be great, but I know some of them were like total black licorice, and then like, oh man, let's go. Because it's got the sweet cherry, the lemon, orange, strawberry, or cherry. And then you thought, oh man, this is gonna be great. And it's like, oh man, licorice. Uh. They also had like the chuckles, and uh, there was another one called charms. Um, yeah, gum. Then they had plain gum drops, spice drops, um, or anything like that that were coated with the sugar. Mm -hmm. Sour Patch Kids, of course, were sour. Okay, yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, but they usually had the little sugar coating on them. Then the sour ones were actually sour, but 
I remember getting these a lot. Like I said, the ones were mostly orange slices by their own, and then they had different fruit, fruit slices. And Brock's used to be it all, all the time you get Brock's. Um, and a lot of times you go into the store, and when you pack it, when you do, put it in the bag, and you had to mark the, um, I guess, how much it was. Some of them were individual bins, and some of them were a little bit more depending on what the bulk was, but I think Brock's candy was like, I want to say like, when I was real young, it was like $1.50 a pound. And then I think it went way up to like, you know, $4.99 a pound or something like that. You get like a half, half a pound or a quarter pound. And it would be like, um, <laughs> you know, the chocolate bonbon kind of things. And the, I never cared for the coconut much. Also like the, what was it? The, Starlight mints, the peppermints, the spicy cinnamon mints, the, um, hmm. what else was the other ones were? Um, hmm. Caramels, they had, oh yeah, caramels and hmm, a lot of different ones. I just remember getting them all the time, and sometimes you'd sneak an extra that wouldn't make it to the bag. And Tazzy, uh oh, <laughs> Tazzy, no. But yeah, they would not make it to the bag. Um, then you would like <laughs> no, Pepsi, no. Yeah, they wouldn't make it to the bag, and. It'll be okay, you know, once in a while. One of them sacrifice it. And that's the kind of thing that, yeah, we would put it in like the pinatas. All the candies, the, and like the Tootsie Rolls and caramels, bro, all the Brock's candy, all the, the chocolate bonbons, the minced fruit slices, anything like that. Those were always fun. And like I said, uh, it was kind of fun when you used to be able to, to scoop it out yourself and get it by the pound. Now most of the ones are just pre pre um, bagged like this in a certain amount. And sometimes if you go to like a candy store, yeah, you can get those like by the pound. All the, the gummy gummy bears, the fruit uh, slices, the all the different ones. Those oh the other ones were the. Uh, the little berries, <laughs> they were like gumdrops, but they had the little berries on the outside. And uh, licorice bits and all that different stuff. And yeah, when you were like a kid in a candy store, you used to get them by the pound or the half pound or something like that. And it was all fun. You'd mix and match and do all that stuff. And uh, they don't have that too much anymore with uh, the candy stores. Sometimes you can find them online, um, have them shipped to you, you know, jelly beans, um, Spice Drops, Sour Patch Kids, all that kind of stuff kind of brings back the memory. And they were all kind of around the same type of candy with the, the, the gel kind of um, gumdrop things. And um, yeah, they were always fun. And like I said, I used to get them all the time when I was little. And like I said, that, it was like a, a perfect pinata thing. You get a big bag full of uh, assorted candy you put it in the pinata and then the kids would you know break it and then it would uh go all over the place and everybody would have to pick them all up also bubble gum yeah they seemed like they put bubble gum in it too like um ha, uh, bazooka or hubba bubba well no not really hubba bubba but yeah bazooka um some of the double bubble those were like really hard I think they would last for a long time, so. Yeah, that's kind of what I remember about this one, fruit slices. And like I said, I found these at the Dollar Tree, so you could probably pick yourself up some a dollar. They probably have them at the grocery store as well, like a generic kind of thing. You can always get those, along with the other one I've, I've seen them. Yeah, the, the, huh, the mints, the peppermint ones, the cinnamon ones, the root beer barrels, all those ones that uh, bring back the classic memories from when you were a little kid. And maybe you did go into the candy store and you got a pound or half a pound. 
things and uh, kind of remembered that. So and it's kind of fun to go back and remember some of these older candies. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series on, on all this classic candies that I find out there that's still out there. And some of them, like I said, some of them have been around for quite a while. Some of them are fairly new classics. And um, yeah, you can still find them in the stores. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over here. That way you won't miss any future content. Or if I go live, you won't miss any of the fun. So until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, when I will be trying something classic for you, like this. I'm going to put these aside and have a couple more a little bit later. Maybe one or two after dinner. So until next time, this has been another edition of Classic Candy Corner, and I'll talk to you later.